how to stop worrying you will have only one more problem by just by mind you cannot stop worrying the whole mental structure has to be broken the whole planning the whole programming has to be broken that is the only way to break the worrying attitude example that in yoga yoga sutra there's a beautiful word called samskara i wanted all of you to understand this word samskara a small example first time if you lose 10000 dollars in your business you start worrying oh what will happen if the same thing continues what will happen to my business all these things you start worrying after a year if you lose just 1000 dollars you start getting the same amount of worry the amount of depression the amount of worry which you had when you lose when you lost 10000 dollar the same will repeat when you, if you lose 1000 also after some time if you lose just 100 dollar the same amount of worry will repeat will be repeated because traveling in the path of worry has become a usual thing for you the road is already made now just driving is not a big thing the samskar is created that is what in yoga they call it samskar means the mental path or the mental thinking setup after some time you don't have to lose even a single dollar you know how to worry by the time you master the art of worrying <laughs> the initial level you need some reason outside reason after some time you don't need any outside reason you are perfectly all right <laughs> just with your mind even if you don't find any reason even if you can't make any reason what do you think today things are going so perfectly all right what is going to happen tomorrow i don't know <laughs> almost everybody has got an idea if today things go well tomorrow something bad is going to happen that is that has become a faith that has become a normal belief if you get some reason you start worrying based on that reason if you don't get any reason you start worrying about oh there is nothing to worry <laughs> tomorrow what is going to happen it becomes just mental setup it became a just a mental habit the word habit is a beautiful word you all should understand the word habit if you remove h a bit will be there a b i t h a b i t if you remove h a bit will be there if you remove a bit will be there if you remove b it will be there only when you remove the i it will die only when you remove the i it will die the very word has got a clear meaning worrying has become your mental habit it has become your mental structure it has become your samskara if you just understand this one word samskara you can understand the whole session samskara is the word keyword it became a samskara in you first thing you should understand worrying as no reason if you think worrying has got the reason you will find some reason if i start asking for the reason people tell me Swami ji, I don't have issues. I don't have son. That is my worry. The other one says, I have son. He is the only worry. <laughs> one says, I don't have money. The other one says, I have too much of money. I don't know where to hide. <laughs> See, if you catch reasons, if you try to find reasons, it will never end. Worry has no reason. It is just an inner attitude. Your internal response, your internal attitude, towards your life worrying is just the response the way in which you respond to the society nothing else it is your conscious choice which you make the way it is your choice it is your way of responding to the outer world it is just up to you to decide to choose your mental setup 
of course the suppression is one of the important reason for the ovaries suppressing anger suppressing violence suppressing your krodha krodha is not anger or violence krodha is like a vengeance vengeance is the right word for krodha vengeance suppressed anger suppressed violence suppressed vengeance these are the main reason which spoils your navel chakra and when the navel chakra is spoiled whatever you think it will be just nothing but worry it's like a once you poison the pond how much water you take and supply it will be just poison water so once if you visualize a pond with a fountain if the pond is pond is poisoned fountain water also will be poisoned the pond is the manipurara your th- uh, inner chattering is the fountain your thinking is the fountain if the fa- pond is poisoned naturally the fountain also will be poisoned one more thing you should understand the words which you use when you speak play major role in your mind people who shout at others who use very violent words towards others you can see they will have more depression because you have only one mind you don't have two mind you have only one mind it's like a knife if you use it on others naturally the, the same knife only you are going to handle yourself also if you are using hard words upon others naturally you will use the same words only upon yourself when you do a mistake person who shouts at others will have deeper guilt whenever you become angry upon somebody you become uh, you get you become mad at somebody immediately you shout at them you use very hard words on others when you became mad at yourself when you get the anger on yourself you use the same sharp words on your own being so the language which you use on others plays a important role in your life please understand even in the dreams try to avoid using harsh language try to use try to use very mild and beautiful words if you think just because you can afford if you use naturally you will see you will be using the same word unconsciously on yourself i wanted every one of you to understand for example you are junior or your subordinate if you make it as a habit shouting at him if you make shouting at others as a habit your husband or your wife your kids if you make shouting at others as a habit when you do some mistake when you create self pity on you when you create a guilt you will be creating a deeper guilt using the same words towards you you don't have to mind we think oh when i shout at others i shout but for but for me i will make a different rule never think consciously you may make one rule for others and one rule for yourself but unconsciously you use the same words which you use upon others it's like a double edged sword you try to kill others and same with the same sword and you, you try to commit suicide so the words which you use upon others are going to be used upon yourself by yourself you don't have so much of awareness continuously to remember the word which i used upon others should not be used on me no you don't have so much of awareness so be very clear in the ancient tradition of the rishis they say a beautiful word vak brahma means your words are god you will be surprised how words can become god but you do not know the power of the words if you continuously say repeat the same word oh i am worried i am depressed what can i do you will really start feeling if you continuously say i am happy i am all right i am blissful continuously you will see 
you are really happy you are really blissful you are really enjoying it is the words which you use nothing else the words which you use only becomes your life becomes your mind becomes your being so be very careful about usage of your words a small homework for you to do in the house just 5 minutes just 5 minutes not more than 5 minutes just 5 minutes keep alarm just 5 minutes write down in a paper whatever comes to your mind don't think purposely just start writing pen down whatever comes to your mind after 1 minute you will see suddenly you will forget that you are writing and mind will go somewhere wondering when you remember again start writing so whatever comes to your mind start writing just for 5 minutes that will give you a tremendous clarity you, you will be shocked to see how big mad asylum is running inside how big mad asylum is going on inside you will understand how big mad house you are running inside we always think asylum sir is the mad people are in the asylum and people who are in the asylum they always think mad people are all outside <laughs> and be sure except only one credit we are majority there is no difference because we are majority we put them all inside the compound there is no credit what is the credit tell me there is a scale to say we are right and they are wrong only one scale we are majority that is the only thing we can claim can you tell anything else no how can you say they are wrong and we are right and they claim they, we are right and you are wrong <laughs> you have no scale if you just read your mind if you write your inner chattering just for 5 minutes i am not telling don't do it for 6 minutes just for 5 minutes then you will understand how much your thoughts are illogical not at all related to others no connection and how much your thoughts are violent but you have to do one thing please write down honestly don't judge the moment it comes don't say oh it is bad thought i should not write it's wrong thought i should not think like this don't do all these things just allow it to come out and copy it that's all then read out i am not telling you to show it to somebody just you are going to read out it is a homework to look into yourself then you will understand how illogical how mad and how violent your thoughts only with this mad asylum you are living now it is time to break to open the madness to pull the insanity out to break the old mental setup there is a beautiful technique i wanted you to know the power of this meditation technique before you do it one uh, lady who had a psoriasis 20 years of psoriasis she came to me she said she has gone to all possible doctors and all possible medication i told her to do this meditation technique for 21 days you will be surprised no in 15 days the psoriasis got completely healed and it never came back never came back that's the power of this meditation technique actually your whole life is nothing but your mental structure if we can break that mental structure and if we can break the walls of the pool and make yourself again as a stream you are flowing like a stream and the ori has become like a tree like a dam then you become a yeah, pool well pool if we can break the dam again and if you can allow yourself to flow like a stream you will see again you become a river your whole life can be changed this is a technique to break the mental structure any of you have this three problem depression and 
stomach anything related to stomach or any pains in the body and any skin disease take up this meditation for 21 days you will see miraculously you are healed miraculously you will be healed let me explain this technique technique is a very powerful technique just one line it says speak in the language which you don't know speak in the language which you don't know Raji, how many languages you know? What all the languages? Telugu, Hindi, English, Kannada. No Tamil? Kunchu kunchu? Ah, I have Tamil also. Malayalam Bari mo? Malayalam mo? No. Any French? This Western languages? No. This five. That's all, nothing else. Okay. You can't speak in this five language. You can speak in any other language. <laughs> if you know five language, you can't speak in those languages. Speak in the language which you do not know. You may ask, what do you mean by <laughs> this Swamiji? Have you seen the kids? If you feed them and put them in the cradle, they will start blabbering. They will kick the hands and legs and they will start blabbering and bluffing. Actually, they are doing a meditation technique. Helping the Manipuraga to digest. You see, they won't do the in the whole day. Only when you feed them and put them in the cradle, they will start. You observe the kids. Only when you feed them and put them in the cradle, they will start blabbering. Because the Manipurada gets adjusted, the body of a child, infant, is totally filled with intelligence. So it knows how to correct itself. Only in the journey of so-called growing, you forget all the techniques. And any yoga master is here? There are main 12 yogasanas. They call it Surya Namaskar. Every child does all the 12 asanas without being taught before the age of 7. Whether it is born in the India or in the West or in the East or anywhere, North or South, anywhere, wherever he may, he may have taken birth, without teaching, all the 12 asanas will be done by him. Because the body has got its own intelligence. Only in the process of growing, you lose all the intelligence. And now again you have to learn and shout. Mm -hmm. This is the technique to open the Manipuraka. Actually when you start creating sounds, mm -hmm. all the suppressed emotions will start coming up. Scream as much as possible. Sorry. Fight with whomsoever you want. Yes. Okay. Let us enter into the meditation technique. Understand the technique. You are going to throw away all the suppressions, even in the psychotherapy, they use this technique as catharsis. They call it as catharsis. They make you to do this technique. Nothing. Just fight with the people who, with whom you want to fight. <laughs> Jump, shout, scream, roll, do whatever you want. Only thing, don't beat the neighbor. <laughs> Just spare him or <laughs> her. Except that, do whatever you want. <laughs> Try your best to vomit out your karmas. Create as much as possible sounds so that the Pandora box opens. See, only in the first one or two minutes you will feel little what to shout, what to do, and little awkward. After two, three minutes you will see the whole Pandora box opens. Inside the full Pandora box is there. Who is there inside? All scorpion, snake, crocodile, everybody is inside. All will come out. Once the Pandora box opens, then there is no problem. Everybody will come out. It is just to throw away the suppressions.